Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad you're here this Friday morning. Had a big week here. Got a big weekend coming up and a, a big week next week. So we just uh, enjoy bringing you the show. We appreciate all the good feedback we get. Appreciate you supporting our sponsors. And one of them is Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. Drew Potter and the hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs. High today, only 88, low 79. Not a lot of movement right there. Water temperature, again, at the end of the pier, at 89 degrees. I don't have the river readings this morning. We'll get them to you uh, uh, next week. But the river, the river's right. The river's in good shape. It's, it's that summertime, I call that summertime low. <clears throat> because what happens, these creeks and all feeding into it are low. And I was talking to uh, somebody the other day, and we are talking about how the creeks have a quick reaction to a heavy rain, like we get these summer uh, rains, and, and those creeks go up, boom, just like that. And, and it, but it does not affect the river because you have so, that quick, but it will later. But remember, if you're on these feeder creeks and a storm comes through for a good heavy rain, that creek's gonna go up pretty fast. And you can almost, I, I've seen it almost happening in, in when way back in the swamp like that. So anyway, uh, let's move on to our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. We're looking at really strong tide today. High this morning at 825. Low this afternoon, or tonight, really, 7.50. Good, strong tides. Let's take a look at our fishing game times today. In this segment here, that's brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers. <clears throat> We're looking at 10.12 to 12.12 12, uh, this morning, and then tonight, 10.42 to 12.42, almost exactly 12 hours apart. Looking at a south-southwest wind from 8 to 10. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Right before I came on air, about a, less than a minute or two before I came on air, I got a little ping on my phone and iPad, and you know, you get those, and you always look down real quick. Well, there's a picture from my spy point camera, the only one I still have uh, active right now during the summer, is up there on my property, and I, I got a chance to look at it real quick. I showed Jeff, check this out. This just, this just happened, okay, just hit daybreak. I, I, thought, I thought it was a doe walking through. First thing I noticed how green everything is early in the morning. But look at that, folks. Look at y'all see, Jeff. Look at those horns right there. Those horns are just coming out. Is that not a classic case of a summertime, a young buck uh, with this, with a growth spurt? That is really cool. So we're going to watch him. Hopefully, keep him in the same area, and uh, see how he develops. So anyway, that, that just happened. I, I'll go and set up my other pictures because I had a bunch of them set up for y'all. Uh, the the big thing about the pictures, I try to keep them active. Okay, here's here's one right here. This is talking about nature. These this is I'm talking about. We had a lot of folks having watermelon now. If you throw a watermelon outside, this is a look at this. These are all bees on these watermelons because they will go. They will find uh, fructose. They're, they're going to find honey and. and and any kind of sugar to make their honey and all. But that came out actually out of, out of a national park. But watermelon is good. Matt Smith posted this the other day. Uh, if you catch a black tip shark, that's a sign of fish in the area. And Matt is out there every day and he knows that. Uh, this is advice for your husbands. If you don't have where to keep your uh, fresh shrimp or your fresh bait, uh, ask your wife if you can use a lower drawer in, in her refrigerator and see if uh, she'll let you do that. I don't think Gail will let me do that, but anyway. Coming up, uh, actually, this is tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, we're gonna really talk about it, the Sea Quarters Youth Tournament. This is really good. I've been to it before, it's from eight o'clock to four o'clock, river and bay fishing only, but look at the category, speck of trout. Look, what well, do you see all of them, speck of trout? How about pinfish? Everybody catch pinfish, croakers, ladyfish. You get a free rod and reel, a free t-shirt for the first 125 kids registered. Now, is that not the way to put on a, a kids tournament? It's right there at Sea Quarters Marina and hats off again to, to, to those folks who are just doing something good for the community. The 20th annual, who started this basically 
when we started the uh, King Michael tournament. The late Jimmy Crowder wanted to be sure those kids got something to do. This is Mayfly Hatch on the Choctahatchee River. Uh, fly fishing has done well. The folks are doing well on the fly fishing, but look at that fly fish. Uh, you see, your flies want to match those, those mayflies right there. Okay. Natalie Noel Estes, I've had on before. She's been on the, she and her husband been on the show. She's really got into this uh, CCA tournament. And she's, every time she gets a uh, fish, she's entering. <laughs> Look at that big old dolphin there. She's had trout. And she, she can win just on a random drawing. And she caught this in, can you read up there? Look at there. I caught this in the bay on top water and fought it for over 30 minutes. I know, uh, look at big old smile. I know she enjoyed doing that. We gotta get her back on the show. Uh, good job. She's a good fishing lady. Here it is right here. She got, okay. I wanna show this picture to you because you lay the fish down by the ruler, you take a picture and you send it in for your random drawing. Okay, so, all right, so that, that takes, we've we got some more pictures, but that's, uh, that takes care of a lot of them. I do want to show you, we're talking about fly fishing, I want to show you one more segment here. Check out this young man here. This is Bill Kappelman, former quarterback at FSU, and Bill's down there around, originally from uh, Central Florida, married and lives up here. He's a heck of a quarterback, but he loves to fish with Howell Montgomery. Well. Howell wasn't around, so he went fishing with Brink Prescott. This is off the Chipola River. Okay, look at that. See that little fly? The white fly is hard to beat. Is this, uh, I take this back. This is, they went out to the Big River. They, they fish in all kinds of places. They don't want me to tell you, but this is off the Big River. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful picture? That's Bill Kaplan. Now here's Brink right here. Brink Prescott. The dad, Jack Prescott, used to run the mill out there. Uh, good job, Brink and, and Bill Kaplan on, on uh, catching fly fishing. Like I said, been really good this summer, and, and those guys enjoy doing it. We've got the Mexico Beach Artificial Reef Association. That big tournament's coming up, and I believe it's next week. Uh, we're going to uh, try to cover it. We'll try, to, we'll try to cover it as much as we can. So just be aware that that's coming up, and it's going to be a big deal. They do a great job with it. And uh, we're going to cover that more, but we put that on the calendar tomorrow. Be the Sea Quarters Youth Tournament, and then we've got that one coming up next week. So let's take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, well, welcome back. You know how we always love talking about the old the old times and the uh, the old bait and tackle stores have meant a lot to the in Florida, especially with it being such a big fishing area here in the Panhandle, especially. And we talk about how strong the Weewaw Wiggler Bait and Tackle, uh, how you know they have so many things in there like the old tackle stores. Well, uh, J.B. Hiller sent this. They've opened up one of Black Creek. So here's J.B.'s. He said, for those who fish the Choctatchee River and Bay out of Black Creek Lodge, a report of the Old Timers Country Store will be opening soon. It's near Freeport. The marina been completely renovated over the past couple of years is a new general store and bait shop on the banks. It's right on the banks of Black Creek. So I've got some pictures. Thank you, J.B. Hillard from the Bent Rod Fishing Club. And folks, y'all support that fishing club up there and uh, be a part of it. Good folks. All right, the Old Timer Country Store. I got a couple of pictures of it. And anyway, they, they opened up last weekend. Uh, check out this menu. Cinnamon Rose, two for $1.50. Uh, uh, Lunch time around 10 o'clock, around roughly. Okay, barbecue sandwiches with a pickle, $3.50. Cheeseburger with pickle, $5. Hamburger with pickle, four. Uh, let me interrupt right now. Uh, well, worms and crickets are about, uh, on the way, but uh, we're talking about hamburgers and all, you know, on occasion when I would love to go out and get a hamburger. Gail and I went out and get a hamburger, and I wasn't wondering if it was a hamburger at, at a hamburger place. Folks, we spent $27 for the hamburger meal. She had a hamburger meal and I had a hamburger meal. $27. Is that not amazing? But uh, anyway, I just want to throw that in. Let's get back to Black Creek uh, to the tackle store. Check out this picture. This is in, does that not look cool and welcome? And I uh, got bait over here, mullet, mullet bait, okay? You know, remember how you catch a mullet over there in Black Creek? All that area over there? So uh, look at all the stuff. I mean, look at it. I, just, I love a place like this. And here is another picture of it real quick. 
All right, see those Coca-Colas up there? Coca-Cola. All right, one of the big sponsors. Here's how it looks. Is that not cool? Just drive over there and get a hamburger with a pickle in it. Be a lot of fun. And the old fish count. The big bunker. It tells you different places you can go, like big bunker and different uh, little bunker. Okay, uh, enough of that. Got all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's switch from fresh water to, to scalloping real quick because scalloping it will be opening up in less than a month. Scallop season in St. Joe Bay. I pulled up, I looked for a video because, because I wanted to share with you uh, how the scallops and all developed. I found this is one I was looking for. It was, uh, in one month, it's three different videos. And my grandkids are little, you know, they're grown now, just are grown. But it shows in early July, mid July, and, all, and, and the size of the scallops and different locations I went and how, boom, we just got a limit just like that. This was in like 2013, maybe. I think this, I think this is 2013. But I, I, I want this to sort of give you a fever of uh, actually getting ready to go scalloping. So, uh, Jeff, let's run this video. All right, folks, getting ready for our first scalloping trip of the year. Uh, we've been uh, out the dark for a couple of days because the weather's been bad, but uh, we're going to venture out today. It's coming out of the east, and uh, here with my granddaughter, Maddie McKenzie. You girls Hi. ready? Yes. Y'all ready to go scalloping? Yeah. Where'd yeah. you get that hat from? Uh, you. Okay. And also, uh, Jill, my daughter-in-law, my son, Chip, we're going to make it a family affair this morning, and we're going to... Uh, Go take a look at them. Okay, it's been a bumpy ride. You can see how bad the wind is blowing. It's really choppy out here. Tip number one, when you get ready to go, clean, of course, clean out your mask. And the first thing you want to do is always spit in it, okay? I do it off camera. Spit in it, rub the spit around, okay? And then wash it off. That gives you a little film, a protective film. It won't fog up on you. All right? We're about ready. About ready to find the first collar. Starfish. She said, Daddy, that's Mama, starfish. I found a starfish. All right, we'll get started on our scalloping trip. We got a diving flag up. Got all the helpers in the water, all the little monkeys in the water. Got our bags, and uh, we're getting ready to get started. Y'all ready? Yeah! Excited! Everybody ready? I'm excited! Yeah! Jump ready? In, Mason, jump. Yes! All right, go, Mason, go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who found a scallop yet? Oh, Y'all see why I don't get out of scallop? <laughs> okay, listen, we, we just brought our first ones in, and you can see they're all different sizes. But I, what I want to show you, this was, this is uh, almost like a scientific experiment. I want you to see, can you see this right here, folks? This is a little baby scallop right there. And I'm, he was clinging to a glass, to a grass blade, just like that. And that's exactly what they do. I just brought them up to show y'all. They come in different sizes at different times of year. This obviously had just been. Uh, this is in the July now. He probably didn't get started now until uh, probably March or April. Now, you see the different sizes? Now that one really won't mature until about uh, Christmas time. So that just shows you different sizes. We're going to let him go. Whitney, 
Let's let him go. You got what you got? A little starfish? Yeah, baby starfish. All right. All right. I let yeah, my we're gonna let that one. Go. We're gonna throw him back in the grass. So throw him over there in the grass. All right. So I showed you different sizes right there. That's amazing. That's a scientific study. I'm gonna He's gonna starfish. Come on, quick. Great. We got to keep that somewhere else. Where did it go? Where did it go? You want me to go under? Yes. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, it's right over there. I see it. Over there. I see it. Right on the edge. Mama, I can't breathe. Is this one yours? <laughs> I can see it from everywhere. No, that's somebody else's. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh. There you go. Mama. Oh. The next one you see, I want to get it. Okay, fine. That's not bad, is it? Well, one spot. Right. Good start. Good start. A nice size, too. Now you see we're cleaning our we're cleaning the scholars here. We've already attracted a little visitor. Look at that little baby shark. Throw one out. Alright, watch him. We're doing look at there. <laughs> he let go of it. Alright, he's coming back. Watch it. You got another one? I wonder where the mama is. Folks, it's so much not easier to clean on the boat. Let's take them out of the house. He's recycling the all these little fish, we, these little fish are having a buffet out there. All those chofas, shark, stingray. All right, folks, we're going to wrap it up. It has been absolutely gorgeous, beautiful out here. I, I told my wife, this is one of the most fun things I do in the outdoors. I absolutely love scalloping. The water's clear. Uh, a lot of scallops out here. We got our living in one stop here, and uh, we're gonna go home. Uh, we already cleaned them on the boat. We'll go home. We're gonna eat them tonight for supper. And I hope you get a chance to get here, enjoy the St. Joe Bay and all the scallop. And it's just absolutely gorgeous down here, Winston Chester with Panhandle Outdoors. Okay, welcome back, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. You see what I'm talking about, the size of the scallops, and it's amazing. They're, they're out there right now, but it's not open, so don't go. So you might want to go ahead and scout, but I cannot wait. And uh, can't get over my kids being that little, my grandkids being that little. Let's take a uh, look at this as far as our drawing for Tarponok Seafood, giving away some free seafood. The $20 gift certificate is going to, let me just get one of them out here. I'm gonna get a top this time from, from Ebro, Jarrett, Janet Hatchell. Janet Hatchell from Ebro, $200. And a big red snapper. And I'm passing up a trip. Anyway, from Southport, Josefina Rogadio, the Rogadio family. Haven't heard from y'all lately. Let's have quickly get into our famous Friday fishing forecast brought to us by Jessica Ling Insurance and also by 
hammer down construction with Matt Andrews, hammer down roofing. So y'all give those folks some business and tell them you appreciate them sponsoring Panhandle Outdoors. I wrote down a lot of stuff here. Uh, I'm, I'm a little short on time, but I do want to go over the river. The river is, is low. We talked about the river earlier. I wrote down fly fishing, which I just covered with all those pictures. So fly fishing is good this time of year. Uh, on saltwater, the king, you heard uh, Captain Burkett talk last Friday, the king mackerel is starting to show up. And they, you know, it's been a little slow the last two years on king mackerel. So that's good, especially with MBAR tournament coming up. The crabbing, I really wanted to cover crabbing because this time of year, crabbing is so good. And there's so many places. I thought about last night about showing off some crab crabbing places, but I think I'll wait and do that uh, later on when I've got time to really show all kinds of different places. But if some, it's a family event, you can actually go out uh, anywhere along the beach and crab. And we've done it before, but a lot of these uh, bays and all, we had Jerry Forehand on, and he talked about all the crabs he's, he's been getting. He does it out of a boat. Uh, bridge fishing is going to be really good this time of year. I've seen some good catches from the bridges all throughout and the fishing pier from East Point and also some good catches from the uh, Lynn Haven Bridge over in Chocotacha Bay. Uh, there were some redfish caught early part of the week, some, some good, good red fishing over there. St. Joe Bay has been pretty slow, really, uh, from what I, I've talked about, what, what folks have told me, St. Joe Bay has been slow. Uh, the, let's see, the, also, uh, talked about Holmes Creek. I got a good report from Holmes Creek and also a good report from Chipola River on bass fishing. That came from bass fishermen. And they're sort of fishing up in suspended water. It's, uh, in other words, suspended debate about mid, midway up there with the thermals. I mean, these guys, you know, they're experts on doing this kind of stuff and they catch bass, but uh, I, I'm not gonna get that complicated with it. I'm just gonna go fishing, but uh, they know what they're doing. Uh, crickets and worms. It's hard to beat crickets and worms this time of year on uh, any kind of freshwater fishing. We're going to run out of time. I apologize for the short fishing uh, forecast, but it should be a great weekend. Uh, get out there and do some things in the outdoors. And, you know, I was talking about enjoying the outdoors. I know it's hot now, but get out there early and late and uh, or for a short period of time and, and run by and uh, just do some good things. You'll have a great weekend. Enjoy the great outdoors. Take care of the outdoors. And God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.